One of my favourite YouTube channels is Dave Jones EEV Blog. Dave was having a look through some old electronics magazines and you might be interested. Here was one of my favourites, Electronics Australia, electronic test gear to build. I love these magazines! As Dave would say, check it out! Instead of magazines, I thought maybe we should go through some old Dick Smith catalogues. This one is 8182. Before I knew about Dick Smith Electronics, you can see the old headquarters at North Ride. Dick Smith, the man himself, and his staff down at the front. Open up, and first thing is computers, the System 80. 4K of memory, Included $695. If you're rich, you'd get one with 16k for $750. And bear in mind that's 1981 prices. It's probably four or five times more today. And in you look at the fine print, you can see it can use it with a TV and even a cassette recorder to store your programs. And if you wanted 16k of RAM, well that would set you back $59.95. I didn't get into computers at all, so uh, I'd flip through these pages and went on to some other things. But you can't go past the acoustic modem there. $399 and how many board? 300 board. Hmm. I wonder if you're allowed to connect them to the telecom network. Not sure. Anyway, things were pretty restrictive back then. And you had all this software on cassettes, which also happened to suit the Tandy computer as well. And speak and spells. TV games. Never had any of those. Metal detectors. Well, the gold price was high, so it was a bit of a craze, I think. And component stereo. Dick Smith brand. Tuners cassettes, turntables, again not much interested in that, cassette recorders, radios, here's cassette tapes, if you, stereo speakers, build your own speaker kits and save, and there's a Playmaster kit that you could have put together. Books, books and books. Lots of computer books, lots of radio books, ARRL, RSGB, all the classics there. Pretty much the whole range. Lots of little circuit books as well. Top projects, Project Electronics, How Computers Work, CMOS Cookbook. Now you just go and get them off the internet. And of course the classic Funway. I started with that, Funway 1, Funway 2. You know, you started with your electronics music maker, um, little screws on, on a bit of wood and you'd, you'd sort of move this bit of wire over it and you'd try to play tunes, not that I was very musical. And there we are, Playmaster Kit. As I said, I was never into stereo, but what did he say? Your friends would not believe you built it yourself. Playmaster speakers, amplifier modules, 300 watts RMS for just $69. Some more Funway kits with projects uh, with the Funway 1, projects 1 to 10 and 11 to 20, but of course you had to get more bits if you wanted to build the whole lot. Funway 2 took a different tack, 20 different kits that you bought individually with little circuit boards and then all the EA and ETI kits music colour, colour organ digital alarm clock ignition some test equipment there an acoustic coupler looks like you can build your own modem alarms all pretty much the same as now TV antenna accessories, Yaesu, amateur gear, FT101, never had the money for one of those, FT7, great little portable rig, 
lots of stuff for two meters as well. And CBs themselves, 18 channel, fully approved, 40 channel UHF. And here's all these others. 40 channel, 27 meg. Cannot be licensed nor used legally in Australia. Ideal for export, experimental use, repairs and spares. Amateur conversion to 10 or 6 metres. Mostly AM, but there's an SSB one. 27 meg handhelds. There's one for 27,240. Here's another one, 5 watt, 6 channel. Mainly for up 27 meg marine. And there's the crystals for them. Now, multimeters, you'd normally just get a, an analog one, ideally 20k ohm per volt. There we are for $19.50, a bargain. Or if you had lots of money, you might get a digital one for $75. And there's even a frequency counter under $200, and it goes up to 600 megahertz. And there's signal generators, AF and RF. 27 meg CB radio tester and an oscilloscope, $199, 6.5 meg, or for a dual trace, 15 meg for $638. Intercoms, answering machines, $199. Cordless phone, it says don't pay over $400. They're 199 and if you read the fine print, let's have a look at the fine print. Although this phone can replace the standard Telecom Australia phone, no soldering required, present regulations forbid them to be used for this purpose. But we know what they were used for. And jobs? Are you looking for a worthwhile job in electronics? You have to be self-motivated, ambitious and looking for a big future. Retailing experience and a basic knowledge of electronics are preferred. With 19 retail outlets around Australia and more to come, you'd be joining a company that is expanding and you could grow with us. A big mail order form. Not too many stores, mostly in Sydney. In Melbourne, only three in the city, Richmond and Springvale. Components, capacitors, disc ceramics, 14 cents, not much different from today. Polystyrene. Well, they've gone up. They were only 28 cents back then, and now they're a bit hard to get. Tantalum, 60 cents. Trimmers. Well, there's quite a good range. Mica and ceramic trimmers. Tuning capacitor, transistor radio type, same as what you can get J-Car today. Axial electronics. Resistors, pretty much the same. Uh, metric shaft pots. Then there's the DS548 transistors with a five-year guarantee. But even better was the markings on the case. C, B and E. Ideal for beginners. But only a minor thing, their leads were too short. Especially if you're still using wooden boards and screws. Now Valve still got them. Reasonable prices, 6AL5, $195, but you could have just used a couple of diodes for that, even cheaper. 6BQ5, audio amplifier, also at $195. 6GV8, now my first transmitter used a 6GV8. Didn't buy them from Dick Smith though, they'll common in a lot of old TVs, $395 if you wanted to buy one. Then there's 12AX7A, $295. What are they now? $20 or something. I think the audio files love them. 6CM5s in all the old TVs, $3.25. You might get a few watts out of them. And new for 81, the flashing LED, $1.50. Amazing! Inside this standard size LED is a tiny microcircuit which causes it to flash. All you do is apply a voltage. And you can ask for their free data sheet. What else have they got? Lots of circuit boards, clamps, hardware. Zippy box. Had them for ages. Still have them at some stores. And metric and imperial knobs. There we are, around 45, 50 cents for a plastic knob. Well, as you would have it, 
exactly the same prices today because they're trying to get rid of them all. And phone plugs, ideal for experiments and if you read the fine print, non-telecom approved, so only for private installations. Hmm. Prototype boards. Now there was a thing called the SDEC used in a lot of European books and I think this was one of those, a soldless breadboard. Logically, under all the transformers, is the warmed toilet seat. $32.50 and it was yours. And as you can see it just plugged in, but it assured you it was the ultimate in personal comfort and completely safe. Even Australian made. And it claims to be one of the most important aids to personal comfort invented this century. Now plug packs, not much of a range back then. The giant handbook of electronic circuits. You'd go into the library and you'd see if they'd had one of them on the shelf. Look at this here, something we take for granted these days, but a 3.5mm stereo plug was pretty new back then. The data section, 30 pages. Piano keyboard scales. Organ keyboards. Wire gauges and data. Frequency to wavelength. Decibels. Reactance charts. Lovely wallpaper that would be. How to use your multimeter. And what's inside them. Transistors and their equivalents. Pinouts. Op amps. Voltage regulators. I love these pages. Broadcast stations. And antennas. And loop antennas, one of my favourites. I didn't build one of those until fairly recently. Wonderful! Long wave beacons. Antenna matching, Morse code, phonetic alphabets. Beacon lists, repeaters. CB channels, test patterns, IC pinouts, System 8 video display worksheet. Well, I don't think I ever used one of those, but it looks like pretty good graph paper. Circuit ideas, always a favourite. And finally, Yesu Amateur Radio.